cooling inflation has helped temper concerns of an imminent recession, particularly as the job market continues to show historic strength, but a worsening housing market collapse and vast uncertainty over the course of the Federal Reserve's interest hikes have many experts, including policy official. Higher interest rates are having a brutal effect on the housing market, driving up the cost of home buying by hundreds of dollars each month and pummeling demand as a result. Existing home sales have plunged nearly 30% from a January high. Meanwhile, home prices are still skyrocketing and making affordability even worse. We're witnessing a housing recession in terms of declining home sales and home building. However, it's not a recession in home prices, National Association of Realtors economist Lawrence Yoon said Thursday, noting the median existing home price has fallen to $403.800 from a record high in June but Consumer prices rose 8.5% in the 12 months ending in July, slowing down for the first time in months and fueling hopes the Fed's efforts to cool inflation may finally be working. After an unprecedented surge in gas prices, inflation hit a 40-year high of 9.1% in June. The Fed raised interest rates by another 75 basis points at its latest policy meeting in July, as officials discussed unacceptably high inflation and acknowledged economic growth will be noticeably weaker than they believed one month ago. Thus far. The central bank has hiked interest rates by 2.25 percentage points this year. Goldman says the majority of hikes are behind us in this tightening cycle and predicts only a 50 basis point rate hike in September and 25 basis point increases in November and December. However, that's contingent on inflation coming down. After a blockbuster jobs report, which showed the economy added more than half a million jobs in July, unemployment claims fell again this week, showing ongoing strength in the labor market despite waves of layoffs among some giant corporations.